Hello everyone, in this guide I will show you how to get a lot of mystic clovers without having to use a mystic forge at all. I have crafted a lot of legendary items and I never needed to craft mystic clovers in the mystic forge and I have always got them from the sources I will mention to you now. The first source is from fractals. Talk to this vendor called buy4373 and all the way down you will find mystic clovers. This will cost 150 fractal relics, 2 mystic coins, 2 globs of ectoplasms and 2 spirit shards. In fractals, you can buy a maximum of 10 mystic clovers per week. Pretty much everything that works on a weekly system in Guild Wars 2 reads it on Monday morning. The second source is from the end of Dragon Strike missions and you will find the chart collector vendor right beside the strike mission portal in Arborstone. When you talk to that vendor, Go to the third tab that says weekly sales and you will find mystic clovers here. You can buy a maximum of 5 per week and they will cost the same items we mentioned. On top of that you will also need green profit shards which is an item you get as you do end of dragons strike missions. And once you buy them you cannot do that again until next week which resets on Monday morning. The third source is from Waldus' Wall. In any borderland, you will find this Dugan vendor, and when you talk to them, in the first tab, you will find Mystic Clovers as one of the options. This time, instead of Spirit Shards, you will need Badges of Honor, and you will also need Skirmish Tickets. And for every Mystic Clover, you will need 20 Skirmish Tickets, 10 Badges of Honor, 2 Ectoplasms, and 2 Mystic Coins. And you can buy a maximum of 5 Mystic Clovers from Waldus' Vault per week. Next, in the Aerodrome, you will find this basic magnetite vendor, and at the bottom, one of the options will be called Exchanges, and here you can buy the Mystic Clovers. Each one will cost 30 magnetite shards, and then the 3 items we are used to. And you can buy a maximum of 10 Mystic Clovers per week using this method. Another source is simply by logging in and collecting your daily login rewards. At the 28th day, when you finish the entire cycle, you will get the Chest of Loyalty. One of the options will be Legendary Crafting materials and from here this will give you seven mystic clovers another source is the world this is world and pvp reward tracks and those are divided into three types the first type are special reward tracks that are available only one time and once you finish it you cannot complete it again a good example is the war claw reward track the second type are tracks as it will give you extra rewards when you finish them for the first time and the third type are the repeatable reward tracks and they will have this icon beside them, which will enable you to just keep repeating them over and over whenever they are done. The first two types of the reward tracks I just mentioned will give you a lot more Mystic Clovers. And this can be anywhere between 6 to 14 Mystic Clovers. While most of the repeatable reward tracks will only give you two Mystic Clovers when you finish them. To know if this will give you Mystic Clovers or not, just hover on the final chest and read the rewards. One of them will be Mystic Clovers, so for example Bloodstone Fen Reward Track will give you Mystic Clovers, while Ascalonian Catacombs will not give you one. Another thing to keep in mind is that Reward Tracks in World This Is World and PvP are separate. So for example, I finished the Shiver Emote Reward Track in World This Is World, but I can do it again in PvP. And this will still give me the extra rewards and it will count as if I did it for the first time. In the description below, you will find a list of the Reward Tracks that will give you extra Mystic Clovers when you finish them. Something that works in a very similar way to the PvP and World This Is World Reward Tracks is the Drizzlewood Coast PvE Reward Track. When you talk to this vendor, which you will find at the spawn in Drizzlewood Coast, go to the third tab that says Daily Material Donations, and this will allow you to buy commendations using certain items. Those commendations act as progression for the reward tracks, and at the end of the reward track, you will have a box like this. When you open it, one of the rewards you will get will be the Mystic Clovers. I made another guide where we explained how to handle this vendor in details, and it is one of the best things you can do every day. I will leave the link for that guide in the description below. Chapter 2 in Living Season 3 will unlock the Ember Bay map. And from the Unbound Magic vendor here, you can buy those Magic Warped bundles. They will cost 1250 Unbound Magic and 40 Silvers. This is a good way to make some profit from your Unbound Magic and they will also have a small chance of giving you some Mystic Clovers. There are other similar vendors in the other Living Season 3 maps, but I don't recommend buying the bundles from them, because then you will most likely end up making a loss. In a very similar way, from the Skirmish Reward tracks in World vs. World, from the Silver, Platinum and Mithril Reward tracks, you will get something called Mist Warped Bundle, and they will also have a chance of getting you some Mystic Clovers. I hope you found this guide helpful, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next guide.